So in this video, we're going to be working out how you can find the speed of sound. This is a very important practical and it's quite fun to do. So first of all, what we need is a speaker, a speaker or any device that you can control the frequency of sound being released from it. An oscilloscope, which is a machine that will help to show us the frequency of sound. And finally, we're going to need a pair of microphones. These will help to detect the sound waves. Now we're going to use the formula that speed of sound is equal to its frequency times by its wavelength. Remember, frequency is going to be measured in hertz and wavelength is measured in meters. Now the first thing we're going to do is turn on our speaker and control what frequency of sound is released. So for example, let, let's set the frequency of sound to 50 hertz. Now initially, the microphones are going to be in line with each other, which means that they will both be receiving this frequency at the same time which means that they will both be detecting the sound waves at the same time. You will see that on the oscilloscope, both waves, one for each microphone, are synchronized. Next, we're going to keep one microphone where it is and begin moving the other one backwards, away from the speaker. You will notice that as I'm moving the microphone away from the speaker, the two lines will now no longer be synchronized. The reason for this is that the microphones are no longer receiving the sound waves at the same time. However, we keep on moving it backwards. So as you keep on doing this, eventually you will stop as soon as you see that the lines have synchronized again. Now the two microphones are exactly one wavelength apart from one another. Now get your measuring tape and measure the distance between the two microphones. Let's suppose that this distance was three meters. That means the wavelength of sound in this particular example was three meters. So now that we have the distance for one wavelength and we have the frequency, which was 50 Hertz, we can multiply them together to give us the speed of sound. And that gives us a speed of 150 meters per second. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.